hello guys you are welcome back to my youtube channel today so i really really welcome you guys all right so we are going to our hotel schedule on pc today i want to teach you the interface how to edit little little things on it before we go into the practical aspect fully okay so dive into this tutorial with me so firstly i will advise you to click on this uh autodesk sketchbook icon sketchbook pro icon once with your left click and then you use your right click oh sorry i moved it okay so you use your right and then you pin to taskbar all right then if you come down with here you see it there all right so now with that you'll be able to easily access your sketchbook without trying to install it over and over again and i will advise you guys to get an external mouse is that okay get an external mouse for this uh, but for requirements well uh, your just for gig ram is good for gig ram is good okay now here is the interface of the sketchbook okay um we have our two panels there we have file edit image window and help here and then we have the name upwards here that is sketchbook pro we have all these tools here all right and then we have color editor or color wheel and then our layers all right uh, but the fact is this in your home the colors and the layers may be hidden all right even the tools all of them may be hidden so even if that one happens don't worry yourself there's no cause for alarm all right so i will teach you how to bring all of that out again all right so we can also hide this one and also take this one out okay so we can take everything here you can take it out yes so even this place you can just take everything out so anyway anyhow you find your own don't panic there's no need for uh, panic all right so you just come to your window there all right so this is toolbar you see the tool is back the tool back is back all right and then the color pork that is for the black and then the brush pork all right then we have the palettes that is for the brushes okay and then brush library to open the brush library and then layer editor then we can come to our color editor but if you are confused you can decide to choose a default layout but i can just decide now this is the default layer this is what you're going to see when you install it but i can just decide it to customize my whole is that okay i can decide to customize it because i can move this around i can move it to anywhere i want i can move it to anywhere i want it to be is that okay and it will be there hope you understand me now great so just let's click on this uh default and then i can edit it to any how i want it now if you want to clear any of these editors you just have to bring your mouse close to this place you can see it then you click on it then it will be gone you see that it will highlight right there then once you click on it it will be gone okay so let's dive into this uh tutorial now to so bring out your layer you click on this layer panel here once you click on it the layers will come out and then you can drag it to expand can you see that now it has full displays or you can make it small can you see that so if you want to drag it that it will fill this place you just drag it like this you see it will highlight something for you on top like this and once you release it the uh, layer will flip there and then for your color wheel also you just click on it and then you can move it you know anywhere you want you can decide to move it to the right or to the left just take it anywhere you want and then it will as well work for you all right so even if you bring this one up now because one is already there it will not be able to to flip there so you can just decide to to take it around all right okay so now let's dive into this tutorial now i said we have our color i mean our brushes set in there uh tools we have pencil if you check sketchbook on mobile all of these things will be there now possibly your home tool may not be smooth as this you can see the edges you can see the edges it's very very smooth so i'm going to teach you guys how to do all of that now here it is ended only draw with pen do you see or you can decide to choose on this steady stroke can you see can you see the stroke do you see the edges yeah and you can decide to come to this predictive stroke if you are using mobile then you'll be familiar with this predictive stroke it will automatically correct your sketch to be straight or to be smooth you can see this you can see you can see it's correcting it can you see it yeah so that is the work of predictive stroke now let us come to our layer in case uh you want to undo what you have done just click on ctrl z all right that is to uh to undo what you have done is that okay yeah so 
Now, if you want to redo it, you can just come to this shortcut here, all right, and then you continue clicking with your left click, and then you want to undo your right click, you want to redo your left click. Okay, so let's move on. Now, we have something like circle here, you know, like dot that makes a circle. So once you click on it, some options open up. You know, if you are using mobile and then you click on your layer, then some options open up. Now, this is not uh, mobile, this is PC. Now, firstly, we have to hide layers. But all of these things, you can do it even without clicking that. You see, my layer is uh, hidden. And we have these color labels also. You can label your layer. You understand? You know, even on uh, mobile, you can as well layer, I mean, label your layer. Alright, so we have some many different colors here that you can use, and this one you can put no color. Okay, you can decide to put red, you can put, decide to put green and all of that. So, let's move on. Now, we have duplicate layer, we have add layer, we have delete layer, we have rename layer, we have merge or merge below, and then you lock layer. So, you can decide to go through all of that. Is that okay? So, you can decide to lock your layer from this place, but it's actually different from the lock that we have here. Is that okay because if you lock through this place then you'll not be able to do anything whatsoever on it all right but this lock is still very very um advisable to you all right so now we have three lines here if you click on it we have add image new layer now if you click on this add image let's see okay so i click on my enter now i can edit this picture now let's see Oh, you, you wonder how I zoomed it out? You just click on it. You see this middle? This middle? Yes, you click on it. You left click on it. You will hold the left key and then you drag whether to the top or downward. Downward is to zoom out and then upward is to zoom in. Can you see this? All right. So you can just leave it like this. Yeah. So you can decide to even change some things there or to crop some areas. Now, let me use this rectangle. All right. And then that is for my selection so i can select an area can you see this now yes so you see i'm cutting it out i'm cutting it out okay so let me use my lasso now now i can decide to do anything whatsoever with it can you see so you can just be creative with it and then you do something so i can come to my uh undo here to just bring it back to the normal all right and if that is not working now you need to be careful of something on sketchbook for pc all right there there will be an extent that you can no longer undo what you have done in as much as you have saved your layout or you have saved the work you are working on so it will just have to stop there okay so let's move on so i can decide to to delete this all right but just let's move on now we have group layers i mean duplicate and then rename and then you have delete here just click on it and then it will delete now next to it we have uh, well don't for this actually don't go there for now yes i'm going to explain it to you when we start practical all right so we have add image here we have done that which is inside this place you understand okay and then we have this to group layer to add group all right and then this if you click on this plus it will create new layers for you all right now you can rename these layers by coming to this place and then i can say to some graphics all right and then i click on enter so i can decide to rename this also you just click on it and then you come to this a all right and you say youtube content okay enter so you can decide to rename it now this is where it's very very different from mobile mobile cannot do that actually so you need to be careful uh, about how you do it and how you use it all right so let's continue okay so now uh let's do away with our selection now we have zoom you can use it to zoom all right by clicking it like this and then it will zoom can you see you drag to the top or to the left if you drag to the left it will still reduce it or to the right side i mean to the left side it will increase to the to the left side is going to increase and then to the left side is going to decrease all right so i think you get that so but not to get yourself confused just click on this and then it will zoom if you want to go to one side or the other you can just move it around like this 
okay so here yeah, we have a select which i just finished using for you guys now all right so we have crop we can crop uh your workspace let me see this so where you are seeing this brown nothing can work on it actually is that okay nothing will work on it you see what i just cropped yeah so you click on this check mark and then it will be activated so you can crop your workspace for example now if i click on ctrl n that is new so i don't want to save this i'll just click on enter all right now let me click on ctrl hold you see it will automatically flip to the size of uh, my workspace yeah can you see this so i can decide now be careful of the of that small torso on your mouse because if you use it then it will just you know no, it will not zoom to your home perfection so what you want is that okay so you just have to go with the zoom of the sketchbook itself so you want to get a perfect result all right so now i can decide to to work on this by cropping it out you know it's too long so i just decide to crop it out now so i'll just click on this crop all right or you click on c on your keyboard is that okay so if you click on c then that is crop automatically then you click on your check mark or you click on the enter on your keyboard then you see that it will change and it will crop and if i'm not cool with that like i said you can click on c on your keyboard and then you can crop just take it from top and then i want to stop it here i'll just click on my enter on my keyboard I click on the check mark on the top all right and then it's done so I can decide to click on my C again and then I say okay I want to take out only the head all right and I will come here I'll click on enter then it is so so I said this is to create a new layer all right so I've created a new layer now let's come to the tools okay I think I've explained that okay so uh, yeah if you click on this place it will give you the properties of the tool all right so you can decide to decrease the size here or increase it by clicking on it or you rather enter the number you want it to be 56 all right but you can see that the size of this brush cannot reach there so i just let me check then okay you click on enter and then opacity we have opacity here you can decide to work on that and then once you're done you just click on here and then it's gone can you see now we have shortcuts for all of that now here is for the brush and then the color settings now if you drag to the left all right it will decrease the size of your pencil you know we put it on 10 before so let's see where it is now if you look at the bottom of your screen you see that the size is decreasing so let us draw it here again with the same tool can you see that all right and if we drag back to the right side then i can put it on my 10 back and then let's see the difference okay can you see this yes all right so that's if you drag downwards that is for opacity all right so uh, my opacity is in 72 right now and then if i drag upwards then it is in 100 now and then the black will be perfect now you can decide to drag this any to any hand you want you can decide to put it here put it here or any, any way you want anywhere whatsoever all right sketchbook does not have any problem with that now you click on this color then to bring out your color wheels you can decide to click on this to expand you now those are just basic colors and you can call color pick all right so i'll just bring it anywhere and then have it here so i can still use my tools and if you don't want to color pick you can just go around with any of your colors and then it will work can you see that yeah so if you drag this one also downward it will decrease the luminance can you see and then if you drag it upwards that is to tell you the relationship between colors all right yeah now if you drag to the right that is for saturation and then to the left to reduce the saturation i think i've explained that to you now so we have a few box all right so just let me click on ctrl n okay so ctrl n is to create new workspace is to create new all right so just let me zoom that like this or i crop i'll just click on my c okay then i'll crop like this and then i'll click on my enter good now let me explain a few to you guys now clicking on this tool can you see this just let me click uh, check out black color all right can you see this now if you want to get a perfect circle uh just let me come here you click on this you drag then you click your shift key all right then it will automatically 
gives you a perfect circle. Great. Now, come to our fill box. You can decide to make it linear fill, radial fill, or solid fill. So it's on solid fill now. If I fill in the color, you see it automatically fill, and I can undo and then fill in my um, linear. Right, you can see this. So you can decide to change the color. You just click here, and then you be able to change it to any color you want, or you click on this place, and then you click on any kind of colors you want. Is that okay? And you can decide to click on the one in the middle also. Then the color also can be changed. Hope you understand that. Good. Now we can decide to undo it. I clicked on Control C. All right. So I'll just click on it. Now you can see. I can decide to drag this anyhow I want and then I click on this also and then I can change the color and then on this you can just use this to learn how to balance colors then I click on my check mark it's done great hope you know what fill box means now but now many people make a lot of mistakes when it comes to a uh, fill now for example if I want to fill in my color and I do like this if I use fill it will be on the background this is because it is not close. So anywhere you want to fill, it's more close. All right. Yeah. So we have text. You can decide to write anything here. All right. All right. So you can decide to increase the size here. You can put it as 144. And then you can make it bold. You can make it italic. You can underline it. And any other thing you want to do, you can put it on um, any kind of uh, font you want and then you click on your ok and then you can edit it anyhow you want you see this you see yeah so you can edit it anyhow you want you can decide to do it like this to to rotate all right so just be mindful of all those uh effects that is there you see i can expand okay so i can do it anyhow i want i can move to one side or to the other all right i can move to the top and then you can just do many wonderful things with it you can change the color all right when you want to write the text you see the color here that is for black then you can change it to any kind of color you want and then it will be so okay so if i write any other text here now like just like this one you see it's highlighting it in blue so you just have to choose the kind of color you want even before you work on it is that okay so just let me drag this downwards then you choose any kind of size you want even before you finish working on it okay so i will explain to you guys how to go about all these tools how to make the settings and also in this place just let me go with this all right here yeah, we have tools and you know about that okay so tools and views so those are just the uh few things that are also here all right so we have a ruler you can easily see your ruler here then ellipse you can use all of that to draw shapes okay and then here yeah, we have tools also so those are the things here in case you don't want to you know on mobile you see a dot here a dot at the bottom of your screen so this is what this is representing on pc and then we have our color just basic colors and this also just to go to your transform and you know all those wonderful uh, effects and tools then this is to save you understand and all of that this is for new control n that i've been using since and then next image or save and then open or previous image is that so you want to save you just click on ctrl s all right then you can save anywhere you want to save it to or you click on ctrl shift s then you can save it with any kind of format you want you can see it here all right and then your work is saved and then you can take it to your whatsapp or your facebook and then publish it so thank you guys for watching this tutorial i really 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 appreciate you guys thank you another tutorial is coming soon Stay tuned.